So a couple of quick comments. Um, firstly, we have a broad uh, series of discussion about uh, say about the, the use of CRISPR for various um, purposes. One on mouse, uh, gene drives, uh, therapies, and um, as you would uh, anticipate, we already know this, that the, the, the use is very broad. So we have a lot of ground to cover, and uh, this is one of the, um, one of the um, really challenge for the Arige to cover all this ground and provide um, ground, so provide um, some ethical, ethical governance framework uh, around those uh, use. Um, on the science side, uh, the, the take home message is a lot of, of progress uh, in the last few years. It's progressing very quickly, um, and we are about to see a lot, especially on the gene therapy side, uh, coming up. As uh, Steve, for example, uh, pointed out, the number of fast, the number of trials that are going on. Uh, on the other side, uh, you see all the challenges, uh, for example, to implement gene drives um, in 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 Africa, for example. Uh, with all the issues, um, um, technical, but not necessarily technical, but, but more about the governance, so how to define gene drives, how to interact with the community, um, the community engagement, and so on. So we are uh, really in an interesting time uh, between, uh, in one hand, the very strong development of the technology and its implementation and the impact to the communities and how we interact with um, the, the governance side as well. So this is what I would I would have as a take-home message. You probably okay. have.